some changes. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel, August 20th, 2019. And I wanna do an updated video on the best high dollar expensive items to sell on Amazon for profit, especially here in quarter four, 2019, as we approach October very, very quickly. Now I've done a video like this in the past for previous years, um, but there've been some big changes between 2018 and 2019 even. And of course the biggest change was there's no more Apple. One of my go-to products was iPods, uh, occasional iPads, you know, the Nanos, the classics, the shuffles, the touches, all those iPods were great. And the, the iPads, occasionally I would even flip like a 15 inch MacBook, a Mac for Pro Air, something like this. Um, you know, flipping uh, occasionally an iPad when I found one, something like that. Um, you know, it wasn't as often that I found iPads or MacBooks, but for the most part, they were uh, once or twice a month along with dozens and dozens of iPods. So you can't do that anymore. So I wanted to update it with 10 of the items that you can. I'll give you two bonus ones that you can do over on eBay. Now, everything I'm gonna give you in these 10 is going to be Amazon compatible. Now, a warning and a disclaimer across the board. As with anything on Amazon, it depends on your account. Some people can sell stuff, some people can't. Some people are gated in red and some people are gated in blue. It all depends on your account. So anything that I tell you here, you need to look up to confirm whether you can sell it or not. Do not go out and buy anything ever, whether it's on this list or not, and assume that you can sell it because Amazon is really weird like that. Sometimes you will and sometimes you won't be allowed to. Um, so do confirm that before you pick up anything or go out sourcing uh, just to have an idea of what you can and can't sell. Also, with electronics on any platform, not just Amazon, but Amazon, um, especially with the return policies the way they work, with eBay, um, it is risk versus reward. Uh, there's a whole lot more risk in selling a $100 iPod versus selling a $10 t-shirt or a $20 tie. Um, there's a lot more things to test, things that can go wrong, things that can break, things that get broken in transit. Uh, people that try to do shady stuff with electronics is just a higher rate. It is rare, but it happens. So be prepared to sell $2,000 in profit, sell 20 items at $100 profit each, and then take a $200 hit when somebody scams you, returns something, or breaks it, and you have to take a loss. So you're up 18, you're down two, it all, or you're up two, you're down, uh, down 200, up 2,000, at 1800 and it all works out in the end. So let's jump over to the computer. It's easier if I just show you rather than tell you, you'll be able to hear me. And I will link these 10 products along with the two bonus ones. They'll be down in the description box if you wanna click on them, take a look at them. I'll link examples, obviously with everything that's in the electronics, there are multiple, multiple dozens and hundreds of different model numbers. For example, one of the items I'm gonna tell you about is TI uh, graphing calculators, we'll look at some 83s, maybe some 84s, there's also 89s, there's tons of different models of these things. So the one that I'm linking to you will be just one, but make sure you look for all of them. Uh, some of them may be worth money, some of them may not be worth money, it all depends. And that goes for all of these items all the way down from the routers to the laptops to the cameras, certain models worth more than other models. Okay, let's go over top 10 high dollar electronics to sell on Amazon for profit, quarter four, 2019. And always before we uh, clip over to the laptop screen that I'm gonna share with you guys, if you want more of these items that are not included in my videos, down below is a link to my complete list of 700 plus items that I'm gonna be adding to here in quarter four. I'm gonna try to get it to 1,000 items. Anybody who buys that complete package and bundle of bolos and sourcing guides, which is linked below, is 25 bucks. It'll pay for itself in one item. Uh, anybody that buys that will get the updates when I put them in in October, November, December for Free. So make sure you grab it, it's linked below, it'll be down below the product links, and uh, it's automatically emailed to you 24 hours a day, whenever you hit that buy button, uh, it'll pop up in your email, so make sure you check your spam mail. Let's go over and check out these top 10 items on my computer right now. Okay, so here's number one, and it's a Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus graphing calculator, black, and we're gonna begin these at used acceptable, $69.99 plus $4.99 shipping. That's a $74 minimum calculator, this one says it has a minor dark spot on the screen and small scratches. So then you come up and another one has small scratches. It's pink in color at $78, $77.99. So you could get with no spots at least $77, $78. We see tons of used. Now the great thing is we don't see any of these as Amazon Prime FBA until we get to right here. So you guys see the difference in that from page one 
Look, delivery, see this? All fulfilled by merchant. When we click two, page two, the first FBA one is $94.99, the very first. So you could come in at like $93. And if somebody selects the Prime box, look, see the cheapest one is $95 if they want it Prime. So you could come in at like $92, $93. You'd be the lowest. You could come in at $95 and match this guy or $97 and be in the middle and get that. This is something you might end up picking up at a garage sale, an estate sale for $10, $20, $30 even, and being able to make yourself $40, $50, $60 on one of these calculators. Uh, again, there's all kinds of different models. If you look up the TI-83 calculators. Now we looked up the 84s. If we scroll down here to the TI-83 calculators, we see that they're priced around the $37, $40 for the uh, low ones. The dark spot is 37. So then these really start at 40. And as we scroll down, our first prime one is at $42.94. So a little bit cheaper for the 83s. Uh, again, something you could still pick up for five, 10, 15 bucks and make a decent little profit. So number one, TI, Texas Instruments, 83, 84, 89, graphing scientific calculators. Okay, moving on to number two, it's gonna be DVD VCR combos. Now I've opened up a Sony SLVD 360P. This is a $134 with no remote, no AV cables, no manual media player only. Now, do you see the picture has only the DVD player? If these pictures have a picture with cables and remote, you have to include those items with it. Otherwise you will get in trouble. Now this is a $134 thing. I see these types of things, not this exact model, but close for $20, $30 at thrift stores. I see them at yard sales, garage sales, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, pick them up, list them for hundred, 150. Boom. Huge profit. Now, again, they are expensive to ship, not really worth putting into FBA in most cases, but the first prime one here is 214. So you're talking about, uh, what about an $80, $90 difference between the cheapest FBM and the cheapest FBA. And therefore you could upcharge to send it into FBA. Now that's going to cost you an extra 20, $30 to get it there. Storage handling FBA fees. But if you can make an extra 80 or 90, you might end up upping your profit by 30, 40, 50 bucks with the offset. So with that being said, it may very well be worth getting um, FBA on these. Some of them it's not, some of them it is. Okay, number three is video game systems. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about Nintendo 64 systems here. So this one is a jungle green color and it's a rare one and it's $115. Uh, it's actually shipping from Florida with somebody not that great of uh Percentage of feedback, honestly, but uh, you can scroll down and see the cheapest FBA one is not even on the first page. It's going to be probably the second page at 152. You can also change colors. We can come up here and change it to red. Look, we get 160. We can change it to uh, this uh, smoke color, 130. We can change it to the blue color, and those ones are 111. And so you can see these are all up over 110, dollars and plus. So you found this at a yard sale, garage sale, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Boom, you got it, and uh, you're gonna sell it for 120, 70 dollars profit, less fees and shipping. You're gonna make yourself 50 bucks. So not too bad, you know, 45, 50 bucks. There you go. And now you guys can see how your average sale price can quickly climb to 75, 100 dollars, and your profit at 30, 40, 50 bucks a piece. So instead of selling items for 20, 25, 30 dollars, you're profiting 25, 30 dollars per item. Pretty good. Number four goes right along with that, and it is video games in their own. Now, most video games are gonna average between 10 and $20. So there's things you wanna pick up for one, two, three bucks. However, there are some, like this Mario Party 9, for example, for the Wii video game system. The cheapest one is at like 31, almost $32. If we scroll down to the cheapest prime edition of this Mario Party 9, it is $36. So something, again, you could pick up at a yard sale or a pawn shop for $5, $9, $10, and still flip it and make yourself a solid 15 bucks. Vintage video games, really really good think the old final fantasies in fact if we type in final fantasy uh three it should be worth a pretty good amount of money for the super nintendo system here it is final fantasy three for snes the cheapest one at 5289 sosa games which is pretty well known on amazon if we scroll down to the cheapest prime edition of it we get 6440 so again you could find that at uh you know a yard sale or a state sale for 20 bucks or less and score on it Okay, we're gonna move on to number five and it's gonna be tablets, Microsoft Surface Pros, Samsungs, anything not Apple. You cannot sell Apple anymore and that's why I'm doing this updated video. So I just looked up a Microsoft Surface Pro 4, which uh, this actually came up with the renewed ones. So if we scroll down, see that renewed, you have to be careful not to search for renewed. 
But if we scroll down, here's a Microsoft Surface Pro 6 Intel Core i5. This is one of the newer ones. And uh, they new priced right around $890 to $900 brand new. So if you got a used one, you're looking at six, seven hundred bucks on that one. Um, let's scroll down and see if we can find some more used ones that are more in the uh, ballpark and not renewed because renewed is like refurbished. Uh, basically, it means that they've been probably like user or manufacturer refurbished. You know, the company might have refurbished it. Uh, it just all depends. So here's a Pro FJR. And here's a Microsoft Pro uh, 00001 laptop. It's a Windows 10 Intel Core M. Look, use 389 starting at it and the cheapest fulfillment 409. So something maybe you pick up off a of Facebook Marketplace or off Craigslist for 250 bucks, 300 bucks. You sell it for 410, 420, um, and you end up making yourself uh, 120 less fees and shipping, leave you about 60, 70 dollars. So. Uh, and again, tablet's really good. You can do Samsung. Um, let's look at Samsung Galaxy S tablet. And we'll pull those up. We'll scroll down here and we can look at things such as, let's see, uh, this Tab A Black. Uh, we've got some used ones in here. 230, 248, 300, 300, 300. So you pick this up for 200, sell it for, um, you know, 200 or 300 is really what it should sell for. Uh, it shouldn't be 230 and 250 or 250, 250. These are kind of cheap, I think. Um, 300 is right, 275, 300. So you pick it up for 175, 200, and make yourself 60, 70 bucks. Okay, moving on to number six, cameras. And I pulled up one of the most popular, the point and shoots, the Canon G7X Mark II. Uh, this is the camera that I use, uh, similar to it. Um, this one used 450, 458 all in, all the way down. These things were like 650, 700 brand new. And uh, you could pick this up. Maybe somebody on, on Facebook Marketplace just wants to sell it. They don't use it anymore. Uh, they want 250 bucks. Grab it. List it for 450. Make 200 less fees and shipping. 125, 135 on that profit. So Canon G7X. You can also look up like the Canon um, Canon 80Ds. Uh, you can scroll down and you can see that some of these Canon 80Ds for the body only. Five hundred and sixty-eight dollars, five seventy, five ninety, six hundred, six twenty-nine, six twenty-nine, six seventy. So six hundred dollar camera. You buy it again. Maybe a pawn shop has it for four hundred. Make two hundred less fees and shipping. Uh, maybe somebody on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace wants three fifty, and uh, you're in business. Okay, let's move on to was that two, three, four, five, six? Number seven, GoPros. Uh, I have a GoPro seven, which is the newest one, but they're kind of harder to you know market as used. So I looked up the GoPro Hero six. And uh, 209 and seven, so you're looking at like 216 for the cheapest one. The prime one is at 219, and then up from there. So again, you could find this one because it's last year's model. Maybe somebody sells it for one, 125, and you make yourself 50 bucks on it. Four, five, six, seven. Number eight, Alienware uh, computers and laptops. Anything non MacBook, Apple laptops. This particular one happens to be 999, used with a manufacturer's warranty. You can scroll down these Alienwares and you'll find a ton of them. Here's one that used uh, $1,600 because it happens to be over a $2,000 computer. Here's another one where the used like new is $1,259, $1,259, $1,299. These are very expensive laptops. You could find Dell laptops that are a couple hundred dollars if you don't have the money to invest in this stuff. But the point is you grab one of these and uh, maybe it's worth a thousand bucks and you pick it up for six, seven, eight hundred bucks and make two or three hundred dollar profit off of it. Okay, laptops, one thing I don't highly recommend for everybody, but it's possible. Okay, number nine is routers and modems, and Netgear is one of the most uh, popular that you know of. Also, Cisco and Linksys have very popular models to look up. This particular Nighthawk uh, smart Wi-Fi router, R6700, is about $50 in the lowest price. It is $60 fulfilled by Amazon. Maybe something you find at a yard sale, 10 bucks. Maybe something you find on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, again, $10, $15 purchase into $55, make yourself $35, less fees and shipping, $20 profit routers modems you're looking for netgear you're looking for cisco linksys Luch, uh, lucent uh nortel and a few others that you may recognize all right the last one number seven is voice digital voice recorders these are so expensive for what they are they're super teeny tiny i see them at yard sales i see them at estate sales more than anything and i've seen them once or twice at the bins now this particular model this icdux 560 black is a one inch uh sony and it starts at $67.99 prime, $68. They're almost all prime because they're easy to ship in. And uh, you can see you can get, you know, around 70 bucks or up. So again, state sale, $20 tag, boom, you buy it. You list it for 70, it sells, it's a $50 profit. You're gonna pay 
um, you know, eight or nine bucks plus some shipping, you're going to be out about $12, $13, and you're going to make yourself 37 bucks on a purchase that you hopefully, hopefully paid $20 or less for. Again, you're averaging 60, 70, $80 sale prices with 30, 35, $40 profits. You can't beat it. So that is your lineup, 10 expensive high dollar, high profit items for Amazon in 2000 and 19 that you should be looking for. We've got calculators, DVD, VCR combos, video game systems, video games, tablets, non-Apple tablets, Canons, uh, digital Nikon, and other SLR and DSLR cameras, point and shoots, G7Xs. We've got GoPro cameras, Hero 6s, Hero 7s, even back to the Hero 5, 4, 3, 2s, and 1s. Laptops, non-Apple, non-MacBook laptops, Alienware, Dell, and other ones. Number nine at our Netgear routers, especially the Nighthawks. Also look for Cisco, Lucent, and Linksys, Nortel as well. And finally, those digital voice recorders, Sony's, um, and many other brands that can sell upwards of $50, $60, $70 on a good day and that you should be able to pick up cheap, store easy, and ship lightweight. I'll link all these down below. As always, if you want the 700 complete items, they'll be down below as well first. So grab those. They're full of electronics, clothing, shoes, home goods, vintage, uh, toys, board games, all kinds of stuff that you can buy and sell in addition to these 10 items, which do appear on the list. They come in 11 guides, 25 bucks. Any one item on there can pay for your investment. So I'll link it below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have a lot more top 10 item videos coming out in the next week. So stay tuned for those and I will see you then.